week's tip of the week um, with Education and Migration Services Australia. This week's tip of the week is how to travel Australia on a budget. So Australia is a beautiful country, so you've arrived here to study, there's a lot you want to see and explore, and this tip is designed to give you a few insights into the best way to go about this, okay? Now because Australia is a big country, one of the best ways to see as much as possible is through taking flights. Now there are four major airlines in Australia, we've got Qantas, Virgin, Jetstar and Tiger. Tiger and Jetstar tend to be the cheaper airlines and generally when it comes to flying around Australia, the more you book in advance, the cheaper the flight is that you're going to get. With airlines like Virgin, they're a little bit nicer, but one good thing that Virgin has is it also has happy hour pricing. So between 4 and 11pm every Thursday, Virgin has happy hour pricing where they offer discounted flights to different places in Australia, both for now and into the future. If you go to their website, happy hour virginaustralia.com you can sign up and you'll get sent emails every week to remind you that the happy hour prices are about to start. Camper vans can be another great way to explore Australia because we've got such an awesome coastline and great beaches camper van relocations give you the opportunity to travel along the coast camp and explore at a slower pace. Now the camper vans can be a little bit expensive over time but one great little tip that you can use is camper van relocations. So Picture this, a tourist from overseas flies into Sydney, they drive their camper van from Sydney to Brisbane and then they fly home. Now this camper van needs to get back to Sydney so what these camper van companies offer is a relocation service which is great for international students or backpackers. If you call these company in the morning every day, they'll have a list of relocation camper vans that need to get it delivered back to their place of origin. So for example, if we call today, we might be able to get a camper van and take it back to Sydney and the charges could be as little as a dollar or maybe even five dollars a day. And in some cases, they'll actually pay for petrol too to allow you to deliver that camper van back. So if you have a group of mates and you've got a little bit of time on your hand, then potentially getting a camper van and taking five days to drive back to Sydney could be a good way for you to explore a little bit of the coastline and do it on a budget. Camping in national parks. Australia has heaps of beautiful national parks ranging from all the way in Tasmania all the way up to the tip of Cape York in the north of Queensland. Now a really good way to explore Australia is by camping in these national parks. So the first thing you need when you want to go camping is a good set of camping equipment. You can buy this at stores like Kathmandu that generally have a lot of sales on different types of camping gear ranging from budget all the way through to luxury. Now once you've got your camping gear you can then go onto sites like exploreaustralia.net.au and this will give you a list of all the different campsites that are available around Australia. So you can go on there and map out your journey as to where you're going to stay and what you're going to do before you even leave home. Now campgrounds are in all the beautiful locations in Australia, so Uluru or Ayers Rock in the middle of Australia as well as Fraser Island. But if you're camping on Fraser Island, it's really important that you lock up all your food because there are quite a lot of dingoes around and you don't want them visiting you late at night. Backpacker Travel Agencies is another great way or a great service that you can utilise to see more of Australia. If you're travelling alone and don't have a group of friends with you, it can be a great way to see Australia and also to make new friends along the way. So if you've just arrived in Australia as a student or a backpacker, if you go into a Backpacker Travel Agency like Peter Pan, they can basically put you on a tour that might take you say from Brisbane all the way to Cairns, exploring things like the Whit Sundays along the way and on that tour you will make some great new friends and maybe have some friends that you can then explore different parts of Australia or go and visit in their home country. These are just a few travel tips on how to get around Australia and do it on a budget. For more weekly travel tips, stay tuned.